Hey everyone, what's up? It's Nick here, and today I'm going to bring you guys an Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and draw a cartoon looking iPhone inside of Adobe Illustrator. So, um, I have to apologize for GarageBand opening right now. It's just I'm uh, trying to test out my audio quality in it. I'm using the built in microphone on my computer because I tried to record this video three other times with my uh, headset microphone and I kept on getting this buzzing noise whenever I went ahead and recorded so um, my head my headset is being stupid so I decided to use the built-in microphone on here and uh, I filmed this video three times so my terms might be a little off so yeah but at least I'm recording in GarageBand so my audio should sound better right here so anyway now that I've gone ahead and said that, now I'm going to show you guys how to draw a cartoon looking iPhone inside of Adobe Illustrator CS4. So what I did was I went ahead and I made something that looked a little bit like this because um, we were in my fourth period graphics class. And in my graphics class we were uh, had to make our own custom road signs about stuff you're not allowed to do in school. And so I decided to make something that said no cell phones. And so I went to go draw out the cell phone for it and this is what came out. Boom! A beautiful looking iPhone. So I thought this was just so cool I gotta share it with you guys. So uh, here I am filming the video for a fourth time going ahead and showing you guys how to make this so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make this and this is gonna be the final take or else I'm gonna go insane so let's go ahead and start off you can use any version of Adobe Illustrator you want to but I'm gonna be using Illustrator CS4 you can use any version of Illustrator as I said before because uh, for example I did this on Adobe Illustrator CS which is the only version we have at school but I'm gonna be showing you in Illustrator CS4 so let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna go and create a new document I'm gonna create it normal letter size at eight and a half by eleven inches and I'm gonna go ahead and click OK <clears throat> if I'm talking fast, that's because the last time I recorded it, this video was 9 minutes, and I really don't want it to be 9 minutes. So the first thing we're going to do is select our rounded rectangle tool and start creating a rounded rectangle around the size of an iPhone. So for example, that right there. That seems pretty good, so let's put it in the center. So right there is good, and I'm going to go ahead and make the stroke of that black, and I'll make the stroke weight four and now that we have that that's going to be the outline of our iPhone so now we want to go ahead and create something for the screen right in here so to do that we're gonna go ahead and select our screen right here and we're gonna right click on it and go to transform and then go to scale and I'm gonna choose around uh, let's say 80% and then go ahead and click on copy don't click OK click on copy or else you'll just uh, resize what you already have there so I'm gonna click on copy and it will go ahead and create a 80% scaled copy of your phone right down there so we have enough room for the little speaker piece up there and the home button so as you guessed it now we're going to be doing the speaker piece which is this little piece right here so to go ahead and do that we're going to go ahead and select our rounded rectangle tool again and we're going to change the fill color to black and we're going to create just a little tiny speaker thingy up there that looks like that and i'm going to intersect it right around there so as you notice little speaker thingy and I'm just going to resize that for just a little bit because we don't need a big screensaver. So there we have it right there, a little uh, button thingy right there. And so now what we're going to do is create the home button. So my home button on here actually looks a little stupid. It's just a circle on a circle. But uh, we're going to make it look like the real iPhone's home button by going ahead and selecting our ellipse tool, holding down shift to go ahead and create a perfect circle. And there's our perfect circle, which is going to be our home button. So we go ahead and just stick it right in there, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for you guys so around there. And uh, there's going to be our home button. And uh, if I'm rushing through this, uh, don't mind me because I'm rushing through this. So there we have our little button right there. And now we're going to go ahead and change the um, stroke color to white, actually, and we're going to create another little circle. So I'm going to create one like right around that and I'm going to go ahead and take it and I'm going to drag it into the circle of our home button and there as you notice we have a little uh, circle home button with the white stroke like the real iPhone. But if you're smart and you're going to make it look like a real iPhone you're going to make that a rounded rectangle but um, I'm being lazy because I've already gone through four minutes of this video. So now that we've gone ahead and gotten that we can go ahead and take our line tool and I'm going to make the uh, stroke black and the fill white and we're gonna go ahead and just create a line straight across the page by holding shift and create it straight across the home screen of the iPhone and that's going to be the little break that holds our icons so I'm gonna cough right now so just uh, bear with me 
Now what we have to do is we have to go ahead and create our icon. So to go ahead and do that, I'm going to grab my rounded rectangle tool and I'm going to create a square. So that's good. That's a good square right around there. I'm going to change the weight of the stroke down to one again so you guys know what we're doing. Now that we've got that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to resize it by holding shift and grabbing one of these corners to go ahead and make it a little less size. And I'm going to go ahead and click in there. And so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and copy it and paste it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just drag that to right around there. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste both of those, actually. So I'm going to hold down Shift to go ahead and select both of those. And I'm going to uh, copy and paste those. And then I'm going to drag them to the bottom of the home screen as well. So right around there, actually, is pretty good. So I'm actually going to space these things out a little bit by using the arrow keys. So one, two, three. And uh, just a little bit spaced out a little bit more. And there we go. Uh, hold on. I mean, a little picky here, so we have them spaced out like this. So that's pretty much good enough. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and just copy those that we have right there and make an entire row out of them. So I'm going to go ahead and select them by clicking on them and holding shift to go ahead and select all of them. And I'm actually, once I have this all selected, I'm going to right click on them and I'm going to go to group, which means that if I click one of them, it'll drag all of them. So I have to save the trouble of holding shift and doing that kind of stuff. So I'm going to copy those and paste those. And I'm going to align them down with the real ones so that uh, I know I'm not screwing up. So I'm going to put them right around here and I'm going to copy and paste them again. And I'm going to line them up to around there is good. And uh, I'm going to undo that. <laughs> I'm going to select all of that and I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to group those together so I can just copy and paste them to create my new row. And so there we go. Now that doesn't look good because they're not aligned perfectly and they're a little bit too spaced out. But there we go. As you notice, we have our rows of iPhone icons. We could drag this up a little bit more. But there we go. As you notice, we have our row of iPhone icons like we would on a normal iPhone's home screen. So now all that's left to do is grab our little <laughs> ellipse tool and we'll then shift and make a tiny, tiny circle like that. But we're going to make the fill color a bit black. Just so we have a little button right there, which is going to be the uh, button for the multiple home screens. So I'm going to select that, copy and paste. And I'm going to put it right down there. And we're going to paste one more in. Two right around there. And then, as you notice, we have our little three home screen buttons, which means that this has got three different home screens. And there we go. Basically, that is our iPhone, which we drew by ourselves. It has blank icons on it, but you guys can go ahead and uh, create your own icons or draw your icons in by yourself. Uh, but anyway, that's how to do it. That's how you go ahead and create your own iPhone inside of uh, Adobe Illustrator. Now bear in mind this is an iPhone 3GS model. You can go ahead and design an iPhone 4 model and go ahead and do that. If you guys want to make a tutorial about how to draw an iPhone 4 or draw one better than me, post it as a video response. I'd like to see it because uh, I'm really out of it today. But anyway, that's how you go ahead and draw an iPhone or iPod Touch inside of Adobe Illustrator. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, stopped with my rambling on constantly. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys like it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Feel free to go ahead and check out my second channel, youtube.com slash pcacro11. We're finally posting videos up on there now. So yeah, I'm going to finally stop talking now because this video has gone on for nine minutes and I really didn't want it to go on for nine minutes, but it ended up going on for nine minutes. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. And I'm going to stop recording now.